Tonight was the regular scheduled meeting for the city of Cohasset, July 13th. We started at 7 p.m. <clears throat> and we had a pretty full plate, so I'm going to jump right into it. We uh, approved a request to hire Mitch Drobs as firefighter trainee, start date of July 20th, per David Tentwist in uh, his presentation. Item B, we approved a request for Planning Commission to make recommendations City Council to increase the maximum building heights in the heavy industrial zone district or possibly other areas, I thought, from what Greg said. They're still working on the recommendation for the City Council, and we approved that from 60 to 75 feet. Uh, resolution 21-24, accept coronavirus local fiscal recovery fund established under the American Rescue Plan Act. We approved that. Item D is a resolution 2021-25, authorizing the city of Cohasset to request that Tass County to withhold from sale and approve the purchase of properties needed for our downtown development So before they go to auction. So we, we approved that tonight. Approved the payment of 2021 Coalition of Utility city du Cities dues in the amount of $19,479 or is now, I believe, eight CUC cities left. Coalition of Utility Cities with a power plant in their jurisdiction. And that's the group that uh, we use for our bringing up our uh, different uh, discussions in, in the legislative body. Uh, we approved certificate of support for USDA Rural Development Community Facilities applications for the City of Virginia. They're going to build a uh, uh, services, multiple services building for safety. And they just wanted a approval of the range uh, locals. Uh, we approved a real property declaration waiver request. We uh, approved Braun Intertech authorization for environmental, environmental services to do the initial permitting uh, for the Huber project. We approved that tonight as well, which, how much do we love that Huber project? That's fantastic. And special thanks to MPNL for helping us make that happen. Quasit Lumber Mill Tax Increment fi Financing Analysis. Uh, we authorized a group to Braun Intertech to, or not, excuse me, not Braun Intertech, to uh, do the analysis for the TIF financing for the downtown project. Uh, we had a request from some residents to put a speed bump on the river road. We approved that between a stop sign and the first speed bump on the river road. That was about $2,900. Uh, reports, FYIs, we had reports of over 1,200 people at the Benson Bog days. It went well. We didn't have any issues. A couple of medicals. Uh, otherwise, it was clear sailing. We approved the claims in the amount of $111,488.62, the June 22nd council minutes, and we approved cemetery deed for Robert and Tony Simonson. That concluded our meeting for July 13th. The time was about 7.46. Thank you.